Good morning, dear students. Today we'll solve the first sum of exercise four point three. Let's start. Yes, here first sum is Manveet bought following things in a fair. How much money will she pay to the shopkeeper? Manveet bought a toy train whose cost is rupees one hundred fifty six and a spinner. Whose cost is rupees thirty five? Here we can see that the cost of toy train is rupees one hundred fifty six. So Manreet will take out rupees one hundred fifty six from her pocket. One hundred, one hundred fifty, one hundred fifty five, and one hundred fifty six. Now the cost of spinner is rupees thirty five. So she will take out. Thirty-five rupees more from her pocket. Ten and ten twenty, ten thirty and five thirty-five rupees. Now we'll add both the amounts and we will see that how much money she will pay to the shopkeeper. Let's count together. One hundred and one hundred fifty. One hundred sixty, one hundred seventy, one hundred eighty, one hundred eighty-five, and one hundred ninety, and one hundred ninety-one means she will pay total amount of rupees one hundred ninety-one to the shopkeeper. Now we'll see that how we can solve this sum in a written form. The cost of toy train is. Rupees one hundred fifty six, and the cost of spinner is rupees thirty five. We will add both the amount, and the total amount will be one hundred ninety one that she will pay to the shopkeeper. In our B part, we can see that Manreet bought a toy bus whose cost is rupees two hundred thirty four, and a geometry box. Whose cost is rupees forty eight? To pay for the amount of toy bus, she will take out amount of rupees two hundred thirty four from her pocket. Let's count one hundred, one hundred and one hundred, two hundred, two hundred ten, two hundred twenty, two hundred thirty, two hundred thirty two, and two hundred thirty four. Now the cost of geometry boxes. Forty-eight. So she will take out amount of rupees forty-eight from her pocket. Ten and ten twenty and ten thirty and ten forty and five forty-five forty-six forty-seven and forty-eight. Now we'll add these both the amounts together to find how much she will pay to the shopkeeper. Let's count it. Together, one hundred and one hundred, two hundred, two hundred ten, two hundred twenty, two hundred thirty, two hundred forty, two hundred fifty, two hundred sixty, two hundred seventy, two hundred seventy five, two hundred seventy seven, two hundred seventy nine, two hundred eighty, two hundred eighty one, and two hundred eighty. Two. She will pay the total amount of two hundred and eighty-two to the shopkeeper. Now we'll see that how we can solve this sum in a written form. Like the cost of toy bus is rupees two hundred and thirty-four, and the cost of geometry box is rupees forty-eight. Now we will add. The both amounts and the answer will be rupees two hundred eighty two. Now we will solve a question related with Punjab Achievement Survey. Our first question is: Reena bought a book whose cost is rupees eighty and a pen whose cost is rupees fifteen from the shopkeeper. How much money will she pay to the shopkeeper? And its four options are: first option is rupees ninety, second option is rupees 
88 third option is rupees 95 and fourth option is rupees 92 my dear students by adding the amount of rupees 80 to the amount rupees 15 will find total amount is rupees 95 which is c option so we will tick this option now it is time for homework as we can see in the c part manreet bought an apple and a juice whose cost is rupees 116 and a frog whose cost is rupees 280 by adding these two amounts we will see that how much she will pay to the shopkeeper in the d part we can see that she bought some balloons of rupees 272 and some eatable things of rupees 129 by adding these two amounts you will see that how much she will pay for these two things thank you